Ask any dog owner and they will tell you that walking their dog at night can be a scary experience as many times cars, pedestrians, and bikers simply can't see their furry four-legged friends. With a little bit of engineering and the Circuit Playground Express, we can turn our dog collar into a beacon of light that warns others of their presence. An LED is an acronym for Light Emitting Diode. And a diode is an electrical component that allows electricity to flow in one direction, but not the other direction. This is a basic diode. Electrical current can flow in one direction through this diode, but it cannot flow in the other direction. Think of a diode like this one-way gate. Current can flow through the valve in this direction, but it cannot flow the other way. The interesting part here is that as electric current flows through the gate, it gives off some of its energy. This energy leaves the diode as heat. Now, with some clever engineering, chemistry, and physics, we can use different materials and construction processes to make a different kind of diode. This new diode will still act as a one-way gate, but instead of giving off heat, it gives off light. So, an LED is just a diode that gives off light as a byproduct. Let's see one in action. I've got a battery pack with some fresh batteries ready to deliver some juicy electric current. When I connect my positive wire to the positive lead on the LED and the negative wire to the negative lead, you can see the LED turn on. That means current is flowing through it. If I swap the wires, the LED does not turn on. That's because the one-way valve in the LED is preventing current from flowing through it. LEDs can only emit one color. However, you might have seen some that can do multiple colors. For example, like these NeoPixel strips. A NeoPixel is just Adafruit's term for a number of different multicolored LEDs. If you look closely at a single NeoPixel LED, you'll see some odd-looking circuitry. Each NeoPixel is actually made up of three separate LEDs and a very small controller circuit. This controller circuit allows us to control the brightness of each LED, and we can use it to change the color of each NeoPixel individually in a circuit. One LED is red, one is green, and one is blue. Here's the trick. By combining these three colors, we can make any color in the rainbow. Creating custom color combinations can be a lot of fun, so let's see how to make some using the Circuit Playground Express. We'll start by turning on the 10 NeoPixels that are on the front of the Circuit Playground Express. Plug in your board and the LEDs should turn red and then green to show you that it's in programming mode. If not, press the reset button to make this happen. Head to makecode.com. Select the Adafruit Circuit Playground Express board and start a new project. In light, drag a show ring block to the forever block. Here, we can click on a color and then click on an LED position. This will assign a color to that NeoPixel. I'll use all the colors in the color picker. Note that the center gray color will turn off the LED. Take a look at the simulator to see how the colors of the LEDs have changed. Click the download button. You should see a C Play boot drive in your file browser. Drag the downloaded program to the C Play boot drive to program your Circuit Playground Express. The LEDs on your board should be lit up in the same pattern you picked in MakeCode. The LEDs on the front of the Circuit Playground Express are a lot of fun, but what if you want a little more oomph? These flexible NeoPixel strips are quite versatile and they can get to be very bright. You can use them to light up your clothes, add fun colors to a building, put some flair on your furniture, and spice up your costume props. The Circuit Playground Express is limited in how much power it can provide to LEDs, so I recommend using these NeoPixel strips with no more than 30 tricolor LEDs. These also have alligator clips on their ends to make it easier to connect to the Circuit Playground Express. Make sure you've unplugged your Circuit Playground Express. Connect the black clip to the ground pad. Connect the red clip to V out and connect the white clip to A1. This is the data wire and it's how the Circuit Playground Express tells the NeoPixels which colors to display. Reconnect the USB cable. If needed, press the reset button to put the board into programming mode. Red, green, and blue are often expressed as three different numbers ranging from 0 to 255, where 0 means that color is off and 255 means that color is at full brightness. If we search for color picker, 
we can often find an online tool that lets us choose a color and get the red, green, and blue values. I'll go for a sort of teal look for my dog color, and I'll bring the brightness down just a bit. Take a look at the RGB values and copy them down. These are the red, green, and blue numbers we'll need for our code. In MakeCode, go to Loops and drag an on start block to the work area. Go into Light and click NeoPixel. Drag a Set Strip block to underneath on start. Notice that we're creating a variable named Strip, which is how we'll communicate with our attached NeoPixel strip. Also, note that we are telling MakeCode our strip has 30 pixels in it, and we are talking to it over pin A1, which is where we attach the white alligator clip. Back in Light NeoPixel, drag a Strip Set All Pixels block to underneath forever. In Light, drag a Red, Green, Blue block from under Color to the color parameter in Set All Pixels. Change these numbers to the values we copied from our Color Picker tool. From Loops, snap a Pause block under Set All Pixels. Change the delay to 500 milliseconds. Get a Strip Clear block from Light NeoPixel and snap it under the Pause block. Finally, get one more Pause block and snap it under the Clear block. Once again, change the delay to 500 milliseconds. You won't see a simulation of this in MakeCode as we are using an external NeoPixel strip. Download and copy it to your Circuit Playground Express. Your NeoPixels should start flashing a bright teal color. To make your project more portable, you can connect a LiPo battery to the Circuit Playground Express. It will continue running your program even when it's disconnected from the computer. Feel free to attach your board and LED strip to something fun, like your dog's collar. NeoPixels are a lot of fun to play with. You can make all sorts of color combinations and patterns with them. Go nuts, and I guarantee your next adventure will be lit. <laughs>